So today we are clearing out some of the uh, brush in the woods here. This is where we're going to be having the um, piglets. And we're clearing out a path and then Nick is going to go in with the tractor, which he's over there, and he's going to make it even more clear so we can put our fencing in and um, have our electric fencing for our pigs. So that's what we're working on. you guys he actually cleared it out it worked and did well he didn't get stuck and now we can put some fencing up through here yay looks good honey good. i like it i know that's I, awesome i didn't know that tractor would have this power to run that or not and it did yeah, that's it great it ran, it ran real well. that's good to know for future Ooh. too huh yeah See, that's the problem. It leaves these four inches. That's why I don't want to cut the olives off. Yeah, I understand. Because it leaves these four inch root dude. And the olives will come back with a vengeance. Yeah. All right, now I am, I'm going to get yeah, the machete. Really good. I know. Saved a lot of work. I'm impressed. We need to figure out if we can go down the hill now. Okay, down the hill and I'll get the machete. I'll get the machete and okay. we'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> now he's getting ready to back down through here to clear this side of the paddock. The tractor is actually too heavy for that brush, or I'm sorry, it's not heavy enough for that brush hog, because that brush hog is, um, is really heavy. So he's having trouble steering it. But I think he's doing a good job. Well, honey, that worked really well. If I turned the belly on, it would just be clean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. These little, these little things. Right. But th that's okay for what we're doing, though. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Alright, guess we'll see. First time I've done it, I usually overdo things the first time. <laughs> so the fence line will come from that front corner post on the right of the gate. And it'll go through here. And... Nick was wanting to move it or run it down there, but I'm thinking we should keep him up on top of the, on top of this little hill. So right now we're going to try to move all this crud that's right here. Afia has backed the truck in there for us. Now we gotta load up all this pipe to move it. He's thrilled about it. Yeah, he's not happy. He would much rather just run the fence line down here. But Look at all that. I know. That's a whole top of a tree. I know. Okay, we'll figure it out. That's like it's probably two hours. Well they shoot that. Probably the hillside. Same <laughs> thing we'll shoot at when we shoot. Okay. So all this is going in the truck? Oh. Yeah, it's shake them a little bit. No, the green please. Shake them a little bit. So if there's any snakes living somewhere, they might be up in the pipe. Okay. They might come out this way. Okay. Okay. So, all the pipe. Yeah. What do we do with the tree? Get the pipe first. Okay. And we'll drag the tree down to the burn area there, under the dike. Okay. The burn tree. I really don't uh, want there to be a stick. Well, it's, there's more likely the snakes in that tin over there. Where? Over there, the next. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do. Woo! Ow! I'm okay. Ow, these briars hurt. Ow! Really hoping there's no snakes in these. Makes a good video. What? Makes good content. 
Yeah. I don't want to find a snake just for content. There's something down there. I don't think it's a snake. It might be a mouse or something. Got a lot of stuff loaded up. Well, there's still more to go. So we're gonna take this and dump it over there. And then we'll come back and try to get the tree and everything that's under the tree. And then we'll be ready to brush hog this side of the fence so we can put in the electric fence. Stem the thing. Hmm. Oh, how cool is that? I don't know, it did that. Don't give me that look. Yes, I'm serious. I didn't know it did that. That's kind of nice. <laughs> give you what look? Huh? Did you give me a look? I did not. Yes, you did. I got it on tape. You did. You went. You did that yourself. Nah. You're a face maker. You're a face maker. You make faces like a jaw. What are you doing? I'm doing marble. That looks like a professional file maker. Okay. Yay. 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 Let's go get more. <laughs> Easy. I think it's going to run. Back up to the rest of the pile. You can always jump that way as long as she's not backing up. That's true. Yeah. She's going Pull fast. No, just go slow. Don't don't uh, dump us. Dump me off here. I'm kind of worried. Wow. <laughs> I've never ridden on the back of tailgate with her driving. Well, Woo. First time in life for a lot of things, huh? Oh, that's true. Oh, look how pretty the sky is, y'all. Oh, it's the beautifulest thing I've ever seen. It is. It's so pretty. It's not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I hope not. That would be Afia when she you was born. Oh, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks for defeating my. You're handsome. Thanks for defeating my. Uh... You're not beautiful. You're handsome. Uh, we're getting steep here. Yeah, we're getting steep. Very good. You got love for her. Yes. I don't know what she's doing. She's all right. She got it. She's doing good though. She's just learning to drive. All right, I'm getting off. At the barn. <laughs> okay. So what's the plan? Drag them trees out of there, honey. And put them in the truck? No, I'm not picking those up. There's like a thousand pounds of wood laying on the hillside. So drag the trees out of here and just where? Put them where? What? Where do you want me to drag them to? Honey, I've told you eight times we're going to drag them down to that burn pile. So we're not putting them in the truck? No. Oh, okay. It's all right. Just leave that there, baby. We'll, we'll grab those top ones there and see what falls down. I'm going to drop them. It's all time. Okay, hot lips. Huh? Where are you going? I need your help. You told me to drag it. No, I didn't. I said we're going to drag all these down there. I am. I need your help to hook these up. What are you talking about? I'm dragging them about the piddly little ones. You're driving drag... with the truck? Yeah. Why do you think I had to back the truck up here? I don't know. I thought we were putting them in the truck. You got to tell me what you're thinking. I done said we're dragging the limbs. I didn't mean I, know. I was going to. That's like 600 yards. I wasn't going to drag those well, trees 600 we yards. By hand? Why not? <laughs> because it's like a thousand. I done said it. A thousand pounds of wood up there. Oh, brother. Pull his steer out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Climb on up in there, honey. I done had five, half of them You can out. go up there and do the rigging. I'll just hook it to the truck. What? Get up in there. I'll just to rig it. I'll tell you how to do it. Just get up in there. I can't go up that way. Well, I'll, I'll help you. I'll grab hold of your hind end and push up there. What? Well, grab a hold of it. I 
got your foot. I got your foot with this foot. There, I got you with that foot. There you go. See? Teamwork is dream work and all that <laughs> stupid thing, right? Yeah. I won't hit you with this. I'm not wish you either. Can you get the, like two or three of them? You know what I'm saying? I don't even know how many are up there. Can you get it? Let me come up there with you. Here, I'm going to move YouTube to, oh, okay, that's okay. I thought it was break. She's up there working her, working herself into a frenzy. Oh, it ain't going to stand on a truck. Stupid thing won't stand on the truck. Come on, honey. Huh? Come on here, I'll be, I'll be your belay. <laughs> Repel down that cliff. Huh? Repel down the cliff. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hold tension on that, man. Okay. Not a lot, you don't have to like, kill yourself. Okay, I'm not. Hey, Faya. Fire it up. Just go real easy. Shed. Hold up. A little bit more. Oh, good job. All right, ease up. Okay. Good job, honey. This is good practice for her. She's doing pretty good. No more. Oh. Well, yesterday we finished three sides and today we are working on this last side of our pig paddock. And this is what it looks like now down the side here. It's really, really, really grown up. We'll show you when it's finished. Path comes right through here where Nick is and goes through here and around and then right down the path. But looks really good. Look at this. All the way over here. And if we keep going, and then there's the training pen. So their paddock is gonna be all back in through there. And I think they'll really enjoy it. This was old rebar that we found in my dad's shed and Nick cut it so we could use it for the fencing. It's working out really nice. That border of the paddock has some height in it, so it'll give the pigs good exercise. Well, today we are trying to move the pigs into their first paddock. I didn't touch it. Good. Now, I took this panel off to see if they would challenge that wire without the panel. Gotcha.
so far they haven't. Hi, Tiny. There's Tiny Pig. <laughs> and there's Big Red. Hi, Big Red. Okay, so I'm gonna shut the fence off and figure out how I put that. Okay. A lot of slack, so I just kind of. And hope that they don't lose their respect for the wire while yeah. the electric's off. In the next minute and a half. Yeah. Tiny is so nosy. Oh, there comes Brutus. I love his pink nose. Come here, Bruce. For, oh, you better not touch that fence. Now that the electric's off. Well, at least it's close. He to hasn't it. touched it for like the whole time he's well, he touched it at the very beginning. Yeah. But I mean since then. Yeah. Don't, don't, on me. Yeah, yeah, don't chew on him. Tiny. Stop don't do it. That works. Stop shooting on me, tiny pig. Just me my buddy. Mm-hmm. It's like a little dog. Tiny. Gramps little till his wagon. I know, I saw. Get out from under my butt. <laughs> no. He's coming back for more. Tiny, what are you doing? What are you doing? That's a no. Back here, he likes. Smells <laughs> normal. Now we're just going to turn it on real quick and see if you can stand the voltage. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not funny. It kind of was. Okay. At least the look on your face was. <laughs> oh, we wouldn't do that to you. Mm. Dad might do it to me, but we wouldn't do it to you. They're just going to walk across? If they will. They might not. I'll just stand here. Alright, turn that on. Turn it on? What? I got it. I'm just gonna stand here. Cause it's open right there? Mm -hmm. Now Tiny might be the first to do it because he doesn't care. He's not he scared really of doesn't. he's not scared of anything. I can just pick him up and put him. Yeah. Eight thousand. Eight thousand? All the way at the end. Should I pick him up? How is it? No, just see what they do. This is, a, this is an experiment. See how they, see how long they can challenge it. Well, they yeah, say. Once they see Tiny go over there, then they'll probably get over Look at him. Come on, Tiny Pig. You get <laughs> to go in a whole big, huge playground. Come over here. We got a lot of work to do, Pig. The Durox are definitely much more trusting. Yeah, you eat that. Yeah, you eat that. Uh huh. They like it. Good job. Good job, Tiny. See, they like it if we put them down there in the grass. Yeah, they would love they would love that grass. What was it? Another piece of glass. Glass? I hope you saw where it landed. <laughs> we don't Ooh, know that's about. There's so much stuff that oh there's so much stuff that's just like all over this property where dad Look at that. He stopped, left it and he then, stopped at the wire. Too. Yeah, he did. And then People trespassing will leave their junk over here. Hey, Brutus, you coming? Come to the green side. No, just let him in. I know, but it's taking forever. It's taking about two minutes. <laughs> I got places to be and no, people don't. to see here. Places to go, people to see, we're things all, to do. We're, you're, you're where you need to be, and we are who you need to see. Yeah. Here, watch out. Baby. Right here's where you need to be. Oh. So they're actually already past where the fence was. Ow! Honey. It's hot. <laughs> Thea, it's mm. not funny. So I'm hoping that just will stay there and do that. Yeah, like all the way up in my elbow. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. That's not funny. Eight, 8,000? 8, Good. 
Come on, piggers. A thousand volts. That sounds like a lot. I don't know how many amps it is. It must be like nothing on the amperage. What's that? Mick. Gosh. That's a tree. That, that, tree. <laughs> that tree's creaking. Old man face, you got to come out there, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. We're getting ready to give them marshmallows to see if that'll encourage them to come over. Because they do not want to cross where where the fence was, which we were we've been told that they won't and they don't like to. But we took down the um, hog panels and we took down tiny pig go anywhere for yeah, marshmallows. Tiny pig will go anywhere for food yeah, give me some give me some more any food good job brutus there you go come on, come on. yeah good job good job they're coming We got, got marshmallow we got two lunch. more. Ash and Crazy. I mean, Ash and Gramps. Aw, he's tooting. He's, he won't hurt Johnny. He's tooting when he coughs. Look at this one. This one's our favorite. This one's tiny. I know. Oh yeah. Thing. Tiny. Tiny is like a little chihuahua. So it's like, yeah. Have uh, and Brutus won't hurt you either. None of these no. pigs will hurt you. None of you will. Will you? Yeah, no. Gramps no. Won't let you pet them. No. So just be careful for that. Yeah, Gramps will run. He's the one with the ring around him. And do not walk into this fence. Yeah. Because uh -huh. Dad just did, and it lit him up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dad. <laughs> I don't have any more. I don't have any more. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't have it's like any more. Cupid. No. Yeah, exactly. It's like the pig version of Cupid. Come over here. Now don't like feel like this because I did not want to What? Do they bite your fingers? <laughs> yeah. That's what hurt bad though. <laughs> He's like, give it to me already. <laughs> Big red. Big red. Yeah, Tiny will go anywhere, especially if you have food. Gosh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> kind of freaking me out, boy. You want to see what Tiny does when I pick him up? <laughs> no, he's following Zeke right now. Oh, he's not coming anymore. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Okay, so Nick is going to back the truck up in here with the l new little ham hut. It's smaller, but um, originally we didn't think we were going to have any kind of a little shed in here for them. But since it's been kind of cold and wet, we want to give him a little bit of a shelter. So um, he's going to back it up in here and then we are going to take it um, right over here on the other side of the fence for their new paddock.
have gotten three of the pigs. Brutus, Tiny, and Big Red have wandered over in here a little bit, um, especially Tiny. Tiny's the tiniest, but um, he is not scared of much of anything. <laughs> so they have wandered over there a little bit. But these two, well, there's Ash. Ash hasn't been feeling good. We've had to give him some antibiotics and um, as soon as we finished the antibiotics, he started feeling bad again. So Ash isn't wanting to come over and to the new paddock yet. And then Gramps is still over there in the hut and he's not feeling good either. He has a lot of congestion and um, his eyes are messed up. So those two are not feeling like going over into the new paddock. So what we're doing, we are jumping. That's what Nick's working on right now. Um, the training pen to the new paddock and then that way it'll all be um, electrified but the pigs that feel comfortable going out into the new area will be able to and then if um, Ash and Gramps want that to huh that him right yeah that's him if Ash and Gramps want to come back over here into this shed or ham hut then they can so they have one at the top of the hill. So they have one way up there. And then their feeder, we'll show you that, is gonna be over there. And then um, they'll still have this little shed here. So that's the plan for right now. Cause we don't wanna make Gramps move if he's still sick. He just finished up with his antibiotics too. And he was feeling better for a day. He got worse. And then it's- get enough penicillin. Maybe. Um, but as soon as it's hard to give them the penicillin because it's like a one and a half millimeter and that's a lot twice. Yeah, milliliter. Twice yeah, a twice a day and that's a lot and it's hard to inject that much But the other three seem to be doing really well um, Our crazy head the one that we had the little short about he unfortunately did not make it So um, we are one pig less We only have five now and um, hopefully we can get Ash, which is our black one right there, and Gramps, which is our other one in there, to fill him better soon. We are trying. All right, you coming up here to jump this one? Yeah. Okay. Keep them off that wire. Okay. Why is it not hot yet? It's not, yeah. Okay. All right. They they're following you. They follow us. So. All right, so he's Ass. moving. Get off the wire. Oh. Get off the wire. He's moving the, uh, one of the rebar posts while I'm holding the tension, and he's going to jump it over into the training pen. You mean let go of that one? You got it? Okay. <gasps> Gramps is up. Gramps is right there, so he has gotten out of the shed and come out for some food, hopefully some water. And then he usually just goes right back. But we'll see. All right, well, these three are pretty happy about their new paddock. Brutus, Tiny, and... No, that one's Tiny. Big Red. So these three are pretty excited and happy about it. The other two are still over in the training pen in that shed and they seem to be respecting the fence so so far so good mm -hmm. 